Hi, Nevada County. We're here at another edition of Investing in Community. I'm Mark Cunaberti, host of MoneyManagementRadio.com, financial columnist for the Union. Today, we're at Gateway Park in Penn Valley at the United Way Grills for Grills event, where the funds go to their impact uh, fund to help partnership um, entities like the Nevada County Food Bank. Today's event starts at 11, and it's a barbecue cook-off. We also have the third annual Derek Sorensen Disc Golf Tournament, which is happening right about now. Today we're going to have four categories of barbecue, which would be pork, pork ribs, beef brisket, and chicken. They'll be cooking all day, and some of these guys have been here all night cooking. The awards for that will be giving out at around 4 to 4.30. There's also a cool car show going on, and all sorts of music, lots of fun for the family. That again is Gateway Park in Penn Valley. Come on down. So we're gonna walk around and go check it all out today. So I'm here with Megan Tiffany, director of Nevada County United Way, who's coordinating the event. Megan, this is gonna be a great event today. So where's all the money go? All the money goes to the United Way of Nevada County Community Impact Fund. That fund um, goes towards the basic needs of the community, which are food, emergency shelter, and access to health care. All right, so we're going to go around and check it out. And, uh, okay, there's all should... kinds of fun things happening today. Barbecues, car shows, vendors, a kid's area. So people should definitely come on down. All right, we'll do that. All right, Good thank job. you. job. Thank you. So behind me are all the disc golf players that are getting ready to go this morning. So the live music starts up today with the band Crossing 49. We've got a whole bunch of barbecue people out here today. One of them is... So some of the funds go to the partnership agencies like the Nevada County Food Bank, but they also go to the Interfaith Food Ministries. Interfaith Food Ministries. So this is the 11th annual Grills and Grills, and one of the contestants here is the Cooking Dead, and uh, these guys they actually won last year. So, no live meat today, right? <laughs> there you go. There's also a real cool car show down here today. I want one of those. works is you buy tickets two tickets entitles you to a small plate tasting and they come out at different times of the day so if a guy bought 10 tickets you can hang around all day and get five small plates at the time of your choosing then around 4 4 30 they vote for the favorite yum So not only food, disc golf, and a great car show, there's vendors here displaying a variety of things. And there's some other food here. There's kettle corn and ice cream. And of course, barbecue wouldn't be barbecue without beer and wine, and that is here too. Okay, so I'm here at the barbecue, of course, and lots of local celebrities here. And I ran into John Foster, Candidate for County Sheriff in 2018. John, you're gonna need a lot of barbecue today. That I am. On the back of his shirt, it says, ask me why I wanna be sheriff. John, why do you wanna be sheriff? Because I care about your safety and your quality of life. I feel that the law enforcement should be trustful, uh, engaged, and respectful to citizens because with you and me, we make a difference. And because of my unique qualifications and experience, I have a proven track record of being successful. So I want to be here next year. John was uh, police 
chief for Grass Valley for how many years, John? Almost 18. 18 years. I've known John personally quite some time. He is uh, definitely a gentleman. John will be my support uh, for you. It would be my pleasure. Thank you. So come on down to the barbecue. Lots of celebrities. And We're here. Hello John. So this is a great event benefiting a great cause, United Way Grills and Grills Barbecue Cook-Off and Party. It's today at Gateway Park in Penn Valley. Come on down, enjoy the day, support some great causes where all the money goes to partnership agencies like the Food Bank, Interfaith Ministries, and the rest. So right now, whoa, I'm going to enjoy a little barbecue. Before I go, thanks for watching another edition of Investing in Your Community. If you have something you'd like us to cover in future editions, send me an email at moneymatters at kvmark.org. And check out theunion.com for all the update information you need. This is Mark Cunaverdi thanking you for investing in your community. And we'll see you down here at Gateway Park. i got to give this a try. you got to come down, man. It's really good.